Today is pantry and kitchen makeover day. I am so excited. Um, a client reached out to me and was moving into her first home and her own space and wanted me to come in and organize in a way that made sense and also get her pantry started for her. So she is not um, super familiar with cooking but wants to cook more often at home and so I'm really hoping this is going to inspire her. So first to of all, can we just acknowledge how gorgeous this kitchen is? It's actually a condo but there's so much space here in storage. I am slightly jealous that it's not mine. Okay, so let me give you a tour of this space, how I organized everything, and maybe you will have some takeaways to implement into your own kitchen. So here I put the utensil drawer because I always like to put it on the way out of the kitchen, the last thing someone grabs before going to sit at their table. Below the utensil drawer, I put um, all of the miscellaneous cooking equipment the here cabinet that had some depth to it and also allowed for height. And there's only a few of those in this kitchen. So this one worked really well because it's right behind the stove. So this drawer right next to the sink is going to be where towels, market list, things like that go. Again, she just moved, so she's still getting some supplies and then over here, every drawer, so we gave her one of those. It's never going to be organized, so don't even try. And then below that, we have all of the morning essentials. So we have the Vitamix, the juicer, oven, and um, kettle. Some people like to use their leave their toaster on the counter, but I'm kind of a huge fan of storing it away if you have space to leave the counter is minimal yes. and just it feels nice and refreshing when you walk in your kitchen that way. Moving on to the other wall, we put all of the dinnerware in this cabinet to the right of the stove. These uppers, you really want to designate for dinnerware. And then this one is a single cabinet and I love that it opens to the left away from the stove so that you can use it Easily reach in and grab spices, oils, things that you're going to cook with. So if the door were to open the other way, it would be super annoying and in the way all the time. So this is great because it opens opposite from the stove. I used a turntable here for oils and back some of the bigger bottles to the side and then put all of the spices on a three-tiered lower shelf. cabinets next to the stove. Um, I utilized the biggest drawer there was for all of the cooking utensils. And I used these little dividers and the utensils by their use and also by their size. It just helps keep things more organized. And when you have them uh, grouped together like this, it's really hard to make it look messy. <laughs> And then below, I love these pull-out deep drawers to be able to put pots and pans in. So we put more of her everyday pots and pans in the middle drawer, and then in the bottom drawer, the bigger pots and pans. Down. And this stove is kind of her baking section. So in the first drawer, we have pot holder. Probably she get a new one. Um, and then some and, and some pie plates and then glass casserole dishes baking pan and some more loaf pan, pan and then this is kind of a flex drawer it's empty for now but i put her bottle cleaner and her milk frother because up above we have all of her coffee cups and drinkware yeah. and bottles and then in the cabinet below, we have the salad spinner, nesting bowls, and cutting Moving board. Moving on into her butler's pantry area, you really want to use this separate space for housing your entertaining glasses and serveware, and then also your pantry items. So I thought here. she could um, add her entertaining platters and things like that as she brings them over. And then... This cabinet is like her meal prep station. So we have all of her Tupperwares, mason jars. 
And then in the other cabinet, we have all of her drinkware, cocktail glasses, things like that. And then here is where the pantry area. So on this side, we have her snack bin. We have nut butter, sweetener. I'm a huge fan of just spending money on organization tools just because they have to serve a purpose. So these bins are kind of a good way to designate areas within the drawer and keep things from sliding. I use mason jars to store hemp seeds, baking supplies. We have her breakfast drawer with an airtight container for her oats. And then up above, we have things she's not gonna use as often, but needs access to. So party supply bin, different pitchers, vases. And then to the left of the stove, we More have of the cooking products and ingredients so we have canned goods here i left a shelf empty that we can add more canned goods up there as she gets them we have, we have some different grains vegetable broth again kind of grouping things together as you would make them in your use them in your cooking um ziploc different foils papers and then like her pharmacy spring right around the corner and all of us spending more time at home maybe you want to tackle organizing and refreshing your kitchen and your pantry with some of these tips so if you have any questions feel free to out i'm here to help um but this was such a fun project and it can be a little overwhelming when you get started but i promise you when you finish you are going to feel like you struck gold. It's amazing. A clean and organized kitchen can make you more inspired and motivated to cook healthy foods at home and just leave you feeling more stress-free and relaxed in the kitchen.